Yes, That's I, I, I agree with that, although the term toss-up is what I was... What I, I, I think there's there's more potential for Zen and Walshi to upset than... Uh, then people will give them credit. Okay, for that's, that's fair. So let's see how that plays out. Ajava and Becky, of course, were were the uh, the <laughs> they were, they were the vaccine to Chronics in Summer Championship, <laughs> right? Because they were the only ones that weren't running the team composition. That top four was literally yeah. three of the same team comps, and then Java and Becky doing something that no other region was doing at the time, um, which is pulling out this Kaya and, uh, and and Hattori or Jala in this case. Java now locking in the fin. Um, and they're doing fantastic with it. And I feel like they've gotten even better since the Summer Championship. Um, so let's see what Zen and Walsh are able to do as a team that, as you said, is quite formidable against this championship team. Oh, that was an on-stage ground pound, but it's going to be the neutral sig coming out from Walshy to get that first stock off of Fakie. Java on the left side did throw out that ground pound, but blue team did not want to challenge it. Yeah, recovery comes through after Zen's neutral light. Good damage coming through. While she falls with that side air, and the second side air goes from Zen, and no DI from Fakie means that he takes a, could have taken a lot more there. Does end up getting that unarmed side air, and Zen's fighting against Fakie's bow unarmed. Now there's target switching Java going over this edge guard here on Zen. Is he going to get it? Gets the grab on both of them. And was that, was that a Kaya Ser off of the knockback from the no, extra no, ground pound? It was, was, it was a ground pound from, okay. from the Kaya. So both of them ground pound. Oh, and he hit him heights. into the ground yeah. pound, and it went right, because I was like, that angle of knockback was crazy. But yeah, that was a, it was an interesting interaction just because Walshi like was definitely trying to be in position to help out Zen, but Fagi was right behind Walshi and was there to punish it. So unfortunately, it just resulted in both blue team members falling. Everything gets cleaned up though. Second stocks. Yeah, Fakie and Zen, respectively, the tanks on these team compositions, doing their best. Neutral like it's interrupted by a sidelight from Zen, and Zen just chase dodges all the way up out of there. Sidelight Nair stopped by Walsh, he's falling there, and Fakie gets Ooh. right out of the way of what could have been a follow-up, and Sidelight Nair down air from Java will tack some damage back and forth, but no team can really secure a lead here. Recovery stops Java from following up on that recovery in any meaningful way, and Fakie's still holding on. Neutral Sig from Fakey will connect on the wall. She more importantly, it disarms Zen. Deep red on the right side, but nice. it's the Neutral Sig from Fakey to follow up and KO. Yeah, barely was able to get that Neutral Sig out. It looked like there's like a, a fraction of hesitation there. We got the Pivot End Sig through, got the strong hit. They take down Walshi shortly afterwards. Four stocks to two, very small lead. However, let's see if they can get the extra credit that they need. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh no, Walsh, Zen? Walsh he you helped him. Fakey's gonna trade stocks there. He has to. Oh, oh, he tries to go for it, and Java's not able to finish the job. That was so unfortunate for uh for Walshy though, because Zen's ground pound ended up hitting him in that position, right? And not look how much damage he took. Yeah, that was a lot of damage he couldn't afford, but I will give him credit for being smart, not panicking in that position. He still had enough movement to get over to that left side, but right now he's got to go untouchable. Deep red, he could leave Zen in the 1v2 if he gets taken out here. Neutral light hits, falling Sarah gets hit by Fakie. Oh, that D-Light Nair will bring him right into Fakie. And Fakie's just been sidelighting on repeat while she goes down, however. And now Zen. Oh, Fakie wasn't fast enough on that neutral sig. Um, but Java keeps getting in these combo stars with the neutral lights. Okay, Fakie, that's a little risky. Ooh. Oh, he's sweating back to stage. They're just going to bonk him with weapon throws. There's the down sig, and that's going to be game one for Java and Fakie. I do think that it was like um, momentum was lost right when that axe ground pound hit. I want to see that. Uh, hopefully, we'll get that highlight again. Yeah, the, get the second stock where Walshi just suddenly was forced to play an edge guard. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get the edge guards. Everything happened right after yeah. that <laughs> when the game was decided. But uh, that ground pound was really sick. I, I haven't really seen a setup quite like that where, like, Java was doing, uh, yeah, so ri is it rising ground pound against the ledge here? Oh, yeah, there you go. And then Fakie, as Java's rising with the ground pound, Fakie was doing his own ground pound to cover if, if the axe uh, uh, hitbox hits up. That was a really nice setup. So going into game two now. Yeah. Game two, no swaps, same map. Zen and Walshi, they weren't out of that last one. They definitely uh, just need to clutch up a little bit more here in game number two. Yeah, let's see if they can do it. Nair's coming through from Java. On to Zen, faking Java starting off with the deficits they usually do, but double D light side air comes in onto Walshi, and Walshi goes in for that his own falling side air, and Java loses that stock right wow. at the 30 second mark. Dude, that is the uh, the fin defense right there, that KO. That down sig did not look like it had enough force, but coming in here with four defense because he's in that Ooh. defense stance means he's going to get launched a little harder. And the gauntlets are pummeling everybody on the red team there. Neutralite blasts them all away, and Zen and Walsh are not giving up a lead this time through. Fakie could go down to that cannon Nair. Okay, one more will certainly do it. And Java Ooh. might be on one stock already. Yo, Nair has to save. come through Fakie to save, and he ends up almost going down himself. Fakie oh. still going down there. Okay, that down air could save him. Let's see what Fakie could do. There goes one. Can he get the double knockout? 
Oh, dips too low, misses the jump, and then doesn't get the follow up on the Saren Walsh and just doesn't want to put Zen into a 1v2. Yeah, really good coverage there from Java. You saw Fakey playing off stage. Java stayed on stage to cover that high recovery, but they will take down Fakey. Java needs to survive here. He's taking a whole lot of damage on the second stock. Ooh, dares and side lights. Okay, ends up hitting that down on the left side of the stage. Oh, Java's got an edge guard here. Stares Walsh into the stage, accidentally hits Fakey with the end sig Nair, and that might be too much damage there. Nair takes him off the top of the stage. Blue team at the biggest lead of the set so far. Oh, what a backup. Oh, it's a good Nair hits. Sarah hits as well. Gravity cancel side light. Fakey comes back to the stage. Down light recovery. Not going to knock out Fakey just yet, but it could very, very soon. D light recovery from the gauntlets will certainly do it. And now it's four stocks to two. This is like where I think game one was going if that offstage weirdness didn't happen. For sure. Blue team, they did what they needed to do. They just took those slight adjustments between game one and game two, and now they're looking really solid. Don't want to curse them just yet, unless you're Taza, but it's far from over. Hey, it's Whoa! Sunday. It's a, it's a completely different region, right? I'm a different oh. caster today. Yeah. <laughs> no, no caster's curse coming through here, right? Absolutely no way that Zen and Walshy drop game two. Oh, wait, they're stocking with that one. Look, did you see those stocks? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and Java just hit a four-piece combo on the Zen, followed up by Fakie's recovery. What have I done? All right, Walshy gets back in with the Nair. Zen puts Fakie into red. This is certainly Blue Team's game to lose. Let's see what happens. Oh. Nair's coming through, no oh, team combo. So I like Nair, gets the oh, second Nair, juggles. goes for the recovery on the way back up, and Zen makes it out of that juggle, but that side light there, side air, Java hitting so many attacks. Oh, it's close now, dude. What happens? What happens? Red team really slowed it down, Ooh. but the team damage again. Living. Fakey goes oh. out there. Zen didn't expect to get the D-Light to hit, and he doesn't go for the grab. Oh. The neutral side comes through. Walsh mm -hmm. doesn't go down, and Zen clutches with that D-Light recovery, or side light recovery. Takes him off the top of the stage. Caster curse avoided. I wasn't concerned at all. <laughs> it's going to game wasn't three. Wasn't sweating. And I think Zen and, um, Zen and Walsh here are certainly showing the, uh, the potential that you were talking about, where it was like this. I, I am now leaning more towards this as a toss-up. <laughs> I think I think you had a better uh, vibe check on this this head-to-head -head than I did because I was truly thinking that Java and Fakie were just going to run with it. But uh, both games have been close enough where it, it, it really is just what you said. Uh, and I'm excited for game three. three yep. two, game three, one. we're going back into this one. Zen and Walshi definitely had a strong showing in game number two, but they let it slip away just a little bit. Some room there for the red team to take the win here in game number three. Now we're starting off, Java stuck on that right side. He's going to be a lot more careful about his stocks this time. He got taken out very quickly in game number two. Oh, and Fakey. Oh, good interrupt there. Getting a lot of damage here in game number three. Sider comes through in that weapon throw, which is to stop anything crazy from happening. Neutral lights are stacked and not connecting. D-Light down here into the end stick. That was a great set from Walsh, considering it was a double gauntlets ground uh, combo. And that side stick not going to knock out quite yet. Uh, one of the one of the attacks that we talked about that <laughs> lost, like, what, like eight fixed force, four, four variable. But Java does go down to Onyx shortly afterwards. Uh, and that neutral light could be two knockouts for Zen. Yep, there we go. That was another move that also got hit was a uh, cannon neutral. Well, it's not. It's Onyx is just uh it's just that legend, right? No, but it's fine though. <laughs> Seeing Onyx every set today Ooh. there's a team running an North Onyx. America really was like, look, we put a whole year's worth of practice into this. <laughs> we don't care. Meanwhile, Blasters like loses four force on D that recovery, never plays the weapon again. <laughs> it's like, nah, this weapon's dead now. It's dead. Oh. You ruined it. So, Ooh, okay, now it took a spike that hits Zen. downward. And that would be huge. Oh. Okay, because Zen was like, that's very low damage for Onyx. Yeah. And so he was undamaged going into the uh, that stock, into the second round of stocks for the red team there. So huge play coming out from Java. Good target swapping there from Fakie. Hit Walshy, then immediate neutral light towards Zen. Oh, oh, team combo getting set up there. Fakie not able to oh. interrupt. The Ensig doesn't hit, though. Zen going to back away. And Java went for the risk there for that recovery to see if Zen would go even higher. Down air does catch Zen out of that side signature, and he recovers right back over to Walshy to be able to down air him. Down air him again, tries to dribble, but Walshy gets out of the way. Side light into oh, recovery. Stopped light. by Fakie's end light. Yeah, that was a crazy snipe. Got right in there, but a good recovery from Zen. Keeps that lead for the red team. Definitely not the same lead they had in game number two. That's Sarah. Oh. Not going to do it. Yeah, Zen was too worried about what Java was doing to uh, go for the edge guard there. He's like, oh, we'll have another chance to knock out Fakey. We don't have to worry about the reversal. Java and Fakey try to take center, but that neutral sig goes wide. 
Side stick will hit though. While she goes down, double knockout from Fakie gets the stuff recovery, oh, no. and that's the uh, the smallest elites for the red uh, red team here. Oh, unless, oh man, Walshy, yeah, Walshy, you're getting, you're getting juggled. Java was like, wait, he's got low on jumps. Delight down air, no, Fakie wasn't ready to be able to follow up, but the double team uh -oh, combo, Delight Cider, Delight Cider into the side stick, only gets one, but hey, that's better than none, and now it's a 1v2 against Zen. Yeah, we take those, that's three Whoa. stocks left to one, Ooh. and that's zero on the blue team side, red team ran away with it at the end. Yeah, particularly Fakie. Fakie carried in that sense. Like, Java was able to get that uh, that down signature to equalize stocks against Zen really early on. Um, and then afterwards, we're seeing the uh, highlights here where Fakie gets the double knockout, and then Fakie being able to follow up off of Java's combo starter here. He gets the downlight side air. This side sig just barely whiffs Zen because Zen was so low on damage, but that's yeah. okay. He was aiming for just the general group, and then the edge guard there from Fakie was almost like as good as the first one. Uh, three stocks them there in that game three that was really close until that team combo. Yeah. That and the and the edge guards from Fakey, I think, were, were two really strong things that the red team had that the blue team's gonna have to be aware of. Mm -hmm. And we're going back to the apocalypse here for game number four. Um I don't think I think um North America, interestingly enough, is like Three, the one two, region where one, the team compositions aren't going to change too much. Like people have got what they think is the strongest right now. Yeah. We haven't seen the um, the dreaded Olgrim Taros just yet, <laughs> uh, but I'm sure somebody might bring it out. Please. Um, but we were, yeah, we were talking about this. If if Walshi and Zen are able to take uh, take this win here, we'll have Onyx games going all the way into winter side top eight. So Java on the right side, fighting against Walshi. Let's see what he can do. They get back onto the stage. Whoa, Start that to was get a combo set up. Oh. Downsig Work. takes them both out, but Walshi, because of his friendly fire, survives just to get down heavy by Fakie. Team combo into the pickup side sig on Axe, and it just barely whiffs. Side sig over the corner. No, the ground pound's gonna get thrown out Ooh, there. Fakie Zen still guards. gets back. Yeah, Cannon Sare, uh, great, uh, great propulsion to be able to make it back to the stage. Whoa, Ooh, almost Whoa. a teammate in that. It, I, I can't believe Fakie was ready for that. <laughs> that was, that was not. Cider comes through. Oh, wall. She narrowly avoids what would have been a, certainly a team combo to his doom. Um, nice jump there. Gets the recovery into Fakie. Evened up. Four stocks to four. And Java knows the threat of the team combos when the blue team went to the right side wall while Fakie was respawning. Now that Fakie's back. Java feeling confident enough to be back onto the main stage. Whoa, down light, whiff, snare connects as well. Oh, there goes the end catch. sig. Well, she does survive though. I feel like as we've been getting further and further in this set, the potential that is Zen and Walshi has been looking more about like the potential that is Zen and then Walshi kind of getting singled out. That's what it feels like has happened as um, as both teams have gotten used to fighting each other. It also feels like the red team is starting to pick and choose to go for like the really quick conversions of like setup into oh. signature more than like the big long ones. But Whoa, that was so sick. Java Please. going right behind Fakey as he's going D-Light side yeah. on the other side and then sliding into N-Sig to cover his back. That's actually like the perfect use of Finn's si a neutral signature. And that's just good team play as well. Like knowing your teammate's got a combo set up so you got to just cover and make sure the other teammate doesn't ruin it. Right now, Walshi deep red, four stocks left on this oh. red team. Walshi's gonna fall and Zen right behind. There it is, 4-0 to lead to a 3-1 victory. So I, can, I guess I casters cursed the the way that the game was going. Because yeah. once I agreed with you that it wasn't gonna be a uh, that it was gonna be a toss You're up, toxic. It, it ended up <laughs> not being one. Come on, I'm not that toxic. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the highlight of the yeah. set. That was um, a great neutral thing. Because.